Hey everyone, welcome to yet another edition of Hello Educator. Today's episode is from Mango Science Radio and uh, it is about the story of the first camera. And uh, the story is narrated by me. I hope you enjoy this story. Hello Mango Science Radio listeners. My name is Asif and I am a nature photography educator. Ever since my childhood, the act of freezing the moment has fascinated me. Back home, we had a Kodak KB10 film camera to record our summer travels. We had something called a film roll that can be inserted into the camera and that would be recording images. A standard film roll would be able to capture only a maximum of 36 images. This is for the kids who have never seen a film camera. No, you can't even see the images. In fact, the camera doesn't even have a display unit. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Photography is an art form, right? What does it have to do with science? Well, the answer is a lot. I see photography as an intersection point of art, science and technology. Photography has been and still is one of the most effective ways to document and communicate science. The first story from the history of photography is about the first film camera. The story of how historical mentions way back in 400 BC by philosophers like Mauzi, Aristotle and Al-Hazan translated into observations and then prototypes and then into a full-fledged camera. Photography evolved from the discovery that when you poke a hole in a dark room you create something called camera obscura. In English it translates to a dark chamber. The camera obscura device is nothing but what we call as a pinhole camera. In fact, you can do one at your home. These uh, pinhole camera devices are an inexpensive way to observe solar eclipses these days. In 1490, Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian polymath, recorded the detailed descriptions of camera obscura. He made models and used it to trace stuff for his artwork. By the 1700s, camera obscura device had become common amongst artists and makers alike by the year 1724 a german scientist named johann heinrich schulze discovered that substances when mixed with silver nitrate would react to light this discovery became the foundation for a concept called heliography and in 1826 Joseph Nichefo Nietzsche created the first ever photograph. It took several days to take that one photograph. When I say several days, I am not talking about setting up the camera. I am talking about clicking the shutter button and waiting for several days to record one single image. And this image recording time is called exposure time in photography. Let me spell this out exposure time for all you guys. Exposure is the amount of light per unit area reaching the photographic film or a digital image sensor. The longer the exposure time, the more light you record. Today, the exposure times have reduced to as low as 1 by 8000th of a second. and we still manage to get sharp images with good light we are even able to take photos of the night sky within seconds with our camera because of the technological advances back then this was not the case at all can you imagine yourself spending several days just to click one single photograph no way right all right after nietzsche's death Louis Daguerre continued his work. He spent days and nights perfecting his prototype for a practical camera. 
in 1833 he created the first practical camera it was called the daguerre type camera daguerre received a lot of laurels for his work in 1839 the french government bought this model and made it free for everyone from the late 1800s onwards photography studios popped up in all places have you ever seen your grandparents or great grandparents photographs and wondered why they never smile it is because the exposure time was as long as 3 minutes and people had to remain still photographers back then had pieces of equipment and tools to keep them still there were even drugs for that in 1888 george eastman founder of eastman kodak invented roll film the camera was named kodak this was the first ever handheld camera and became a game changer in the field of photography in the early 1900s an affordable camera called the brownie was introduced by kodak and it revolutionized commercial film photography and this became the beginning of a new era in photography so what is the takeaway from this story do not be afraid to experiment if da vinci didn't experiment with camera obscura the models wouldn't have been possible if johann heinrich schulze didn't experiment with silver nitrate film photography wouldn't have been possible leonardo da vinci puts this in a beautiful quote i am a disciple of experience and experiment with that piece from history i would like to end today's episode i hope you liked it and uh, i hope it was informative have you ever used a film camera what was your first photograph uh, please do share your experiences with us and uh, for the kids out there listening to this story try to see if you can make a pinhole camera it will be a fun activity take a medium sized cardboard box and cover the inside walls with white paper now completely seal the box ensure that it does not have any openings in it to let light in in the center of one of the faces of the box poke a tiny hole with the help of a pin on the same face of the box make a hole to place your eye when light passes through this hole that is the pin hole the image is projected upside down thank you for listening i will catch you again with some other interesting story